Well, for more than 70 years, Victoria High School's soccer supremacy has been decided by a single game. It's called the Colonist Cup, and hoisting the city's soccer grail is a goal of every team from the single-A ranks to triple-A. Last night, it came down to a battle of the private schools. Glenline Norfolk Griffins and the St. Michael's University School Blue Jags. And the Griffins in white have become Colonist Cup regulars' fourth appearance in the city finals in the past five years. They score the first goal. Reese Fletcher Burna gets the ball to cross the line before he does. That goal is good. GNS with the 1-0 lead. And they would add to it on a penalty kick. Jason Bradbury, bulging twine. Griffins in complete control here, take a 2-0 lead into the break. A tale of two halves indeed. That's what took place on the pitch at Centennial Stadium. Owen oh, Sudel finds Michael Bart. Bend it like Bart. We have ourselves a game. And the equalizer comes off a header. Multiple heads, in fact, count them. Brian M., I think, was the sixth head to touch that ball. 2-2 two -two the game. And then Strykel... Striker Michael Bart, phenomenal all season. Maybe he'll be trading in those blue and blacks for Vikes blue and golds. Great pass from Maddie McCall to set up the go-ahead goal. And that is your Colonist Cup winner. Comeback complete, 3-2 the final. Let's hear from the player of the game. Uh, it means a lot. Me being a senior, it's my last game. So having the win is great. And uh, it's the first time I think we've won it since 2006. So another good one for us. We just took our foot off the pedal a little bit in the second half, allowed them back in the game, and uh, credit to them, like I said, they, they took that momentum and, and ran with it. Um, it's a good game. Both, both teams played hard. Obviously disappointed. Major League Baseball handed out some